Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video about the Galaxy Note 2 blocking mode and this is something that you will get probably on your Galaxy S3 as well when, and then probably also on your Galaxy S2 when you're going to get the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean update that should arrive for both the Galaxy S2 and both the Galaxy S3 um, in October. And we do know the Galaxy S3 Jelly Bean update is rolling out right now. I just saw an article that's rolling out in Korea. I've seen it rolling out in Poland and it's probably rolling out very, very soon to other regions in the world. So let's go ahead and take a look at the blocking mode. It's exactly like it works like iOS 6 mode, the do not disturb mode. It's basically a wonderful mode when you don't want to get disturbed or, you know. But in Android over here with Samsung's TouchWiz, it's called blocking mode. And when we go ahead and see here, if you activate blocking mode, you can also go ahead and activate blocking mode up here. Uh, it's by swapping down blocking mode. Okay, very easy. You can see blocking mode is activated. Uh, but as you can see, it's very, very wonderful. You can inactivate incoming calls, inactivate messages, inactivate uh, your alarm and timer. Now, when it's inactivating uh, incoming calls and incoming messages, I'm not sure if you're gonna get them uh, after when you turn this off. If you're gonna get, if you, let's say you get some calls when you are in blocking mode, where you see that you've been getting those calls. I'm not sure. But you can inactivate alarm and timer inactivate the LED indicator up here, I suppose. And you can also set in the time. Let's say you don't wanna have any incoming messages, incoming calls when you are asleep. You can handle that, but that, that may be something for you. Let's say someone is dying, someone's trying to call you. Maybe not that good, maybe not that good. Uh, but it's very useful, like for me, when I'm doing videos like this, is uh, activate blocking mode and no one can, you know, contact me. It's awesome. Then you can also have allowed contacts. So you can have your favorites, all of your contacts, uh, your own contacts, and then you can also see your list with allowed contacts. So I gotta say, this is very, very useful and it would be very, very fun to compare it uh, against Apple's iOS 6 Do Not Disturb feature to see if it exactly works the same way. Uh, I haven't really looked uh, deeper into it, but it would be fun to compare it and I probably will do that in the future. But it's pretty useful, I gotta say, and it's pretty sweet. So yeah, quick look here at the Galaxy Note 2 blocking mode that I think a lot of people will use, especially when they swipe down like this, go down at the side and then you just tap blocking mode and then swipe up again and no one can contact me now. It, it's, it's a very powerful feature, you know, uh, yeah. So let's see here. Oops, not auto. Let's go ahead and turn it off so I can get calls and messages from girls and good stuff. Yeah, have a good one.